I'm Weird Paul, and these are my 100 favorite songs of the 1980s. I Think of Demons is a rock song by Rocky Erickson, and it was released in the U.S. in 1981. Rocky was known for leading the band the 13th Floor Elevators in the late 1960s. Tragically, he was sent to a state hospital in 1968 for drug possession. He was diagnosed as a schizophrenic, and he was given electroshock therapy. In the late 70s, he started performing with a band as Rocky Erickson and the Aliens. And in 1979, they recorded 15 songs with producer Stu Cook, who was the bassist for Creedence Clearwater Revival. The band would record all the music first, and then they'd go pick Rocky up at the hospital where he was staying at the time. Stu Cook described Rocky as unpredictable. His medication made it hard to keep his mind on recording, and every time he'd sing, the lyrics would be slightly different. So, the recording of the vocals was done in a somewhat unorthodox manner. Rocky would sing over the backing music tracks, and when he finished the song, they'd rewind the tape, and they'd keep recording takes until they ran out of tape. Then, they would cut pieces out of all of the takes and put them together to get the best final vocal performance. This is a technique that they call wild syncing, and it sometimes would take hours. The song was released in the UK in 1980 and in the US in 1981 on the album The Evil One. It's such a catchy song, with Rocky's heartfelt vocals and guitarist Dwayne S. Laxon's expertly performed leads. It also utilizes an electric auto harp, not often heard in rock music. A song as beautiful as this still brings me to tears every time I listen to it. I first heard of Rocky Erickson around 1985 in a place where I learned about a lot of interesting bands, Rolling Stone magazine. But it would be another five years in 1990 before I heard my first Rocky Erickson song, which was Don't Shake Me Lucifer. And it was another ten years before I heard more Rocky Erickson. My girlfriend at that time had a couple of his CDs. And it wasn't until even later that I heard I Think of Demons when I bought the CD off of eBay. I'll see you soon with another of my 100 favorite songs of the 1980s.